Hi, my name is Kelly and I'm teaching AP Chinese Language and Culture. I've tutored middle schoolers for a year in my high school and interned at a creative education center last year. For my lesson, I would separate into two parts, one focused on MCs and the other one focused on writing. For MCs, we would do a lot of test papers and I would give you tips on how to tackle the problems. For writing, I would introduce you to some topics that you might get tested on. So it might be Chinese literature, Chinese festivals, and all sorts of things that are related to Chinese culture. I would encourage students to speak in Mandarin with me during class since this is beneficial for them. Um, there's a speaking part in the actual exam and the more they practice the language, the more fluent they will be. So today's lesson would focus on the listening part of the Chinese exam. And basically what for listening, there are four sections to it. There is conversation, long narrative, short narrative, and dialogue. And today we'll be talking about conversation. How conversation works is that um, person A would be talking and you as person B would be given four options to answer a question. What's hard about this, um, this part is that you're given very little time. You only hear the recording once, so you need to be very concentrated and you really need to focus on the keywords. What I would suggest students to do is to focus on the W's. Quite quickly, I would just go over everything with you guys. What in Chinese is 什么? Why is 为什么? Where is 哪? When is 什么时候? How is 怎么样? And then just a quick example for all of these. Um, what are you doing? 你做什么? Why are you here? 你为什么在这儿? Where are you going? 你去哪? When are you coming back home? 你什么时候回家? How are you doing? 你怎么样? So when you hear the question, you need to try to figure out what kind of question it is. If, is it a what question? Is it a why question? Knowing this will make it easier for you to know what you're looking for when you're answering the question. So here I have a practice for you. And I'll read the question once. And I'll give you some time to think about what kind of question it is. 请问图书馆在哪? Do you hear that? So now I have the question here for you. You won't have this in the actual exam, but since this is a more of a beginner level, I have it here for you. It says, where is the library? And then you would get out your table and see which one it matches. And quite easily, you'll be able to see it matches with this one. So this question is asking where the library is. Where is the library? And then for your answer, you should look for something that answer a where question. Okay, so we'll go for the answer bit. Again, I'll read it once for you. Um, so yeah. A. 图书馆里有很多书. B. 图书馆就在那边. C. 图书馆十点关门. D. 图书馆里有很多学生. Now you can pause the video and think clearly what you think the answer should be. And when you feel like you're ready, you can click play and now analyze it with you. All right, so let's go over all the options together. Here, that's option A. A. 图书馆里有很多书. One little tip for you is that because these are quite simple conversations, a lot of times they use the same adjective. The adjective here is 有. And then the question, the adjective is here, 在. So a little hint would be they might be referring to two different things. But that's, that's not always the case, so you still need to look at the whole sentence. And here it says um, the library has a lot of books. So since it's answering a what question, not a where question, you would cross that out and you would look at the second options you have. This one says, 图书馆就在那边. And then again, you look for the adjective. The adjective is 在. Question here, the adjective is 在. So they might be referring to the same thing. And then you look at the whole thing. It says, library is there. So it's answering a where question. So you would leave it there. This might be a possibility. 
you still have to listen to other options you have because a lot of times um, there are two possible answers, but one is just more suitable. So be patient and look for questions. Option C. Option C says, 图书馆十点关门. And then once you hear this, there should be a keyword for this option. It says 10 o'clock. So when it's mentioning a time, it's answering a when question. So you cross it out. And then this one is the final option. You look at the adjective. The adjective here is yo. So they might be referring to different thing. And then you look at the whole sentence. It says, 图书馆里有很多学生. It's saying that the library has a lot of students. So again, it's, a what, it's answering a what question, not a where question. So the best answer would be B. Do you get that? Um, we'll go for another practice, and this one will be a little bit more challenging. You'll listen to the whole conversation yourself, so it will be like the actual exam. You listen it to you listen it to it once, and then once the recording is over, you can pause the video and see if you can try to find the answer yourself without my help. Okay, let's go. Oh, sorry. Let me start the video again. 精饮料,好喝吗? 喝起来像糖水一样,没广告上说的那么好。A. 真的有那么甜吗? B. 真的有那么好吗? C. 真的有那么多吗? D. 真的有那么香吗? Okay, so I have the full conversation here. Um, when you look at this, you can kind of ignore this part because person two already answered this part. So this part is not that important. And then you look at this sentence. In this first bit here, 像糖水一样. 糖水 might be a, a weird vocabulary for you, so don't panic. Just look at the second, second part because you might understand that. It says, 没广告说的那么好喝. So this is saying that it does not taste as good as what the advertisement has said. So it's giving a negative view to, to the product. So you put a negative sign here. Then in the answer, you can see um, the structure is quite similar. It's 真的那么, So this means that you only need to focus on the description. And then again, it's asking, is it really that should it look for a positive or negative thing? It should look for a negative thing. So these descriptions should be negative. Let's go from option one. It says, 真的那么甜吗? Is it that sweet? If it's too sweet, then it's a bad thing. And you want that, so you would put a tick on that. And then this says, 真的那么好吗? Is it that good? Good is a positive thing, and you are trying to find a negative thing, so you would cross it out. 真的那么多吗? Is it too much? Well, too much can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing as well. You don't know, so just put a little circle next to it. 真的那么香吗? Is, does it smell that good? Smelling good is a good thing. You're trying to find a negative thing, so you would cross that out again. So now what you're left with is 1 and 3. So even if you don't understand this part, you have a 50 50 chance of getting the actual answer. And this is what you need to do for a lot of questions. There's no way you understand all the vocabs. So just try your best to cross out the ones that does not make sense to you. Okay, so let's say you know what tang sui is, which is um, sugar water. Sugar water is saying that the product is so sweet, it does not taste as good as the advertisement. So in this part, you should um, look for something that's about the sweetness or the flavor. It's definitely not talking about the amount of the product, so you can cross this out. And what you're left with is one. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something from this video, and we'll see you soon.